Okay. So here's the importance of this technique called coping. So when you're running um, baseboard, most people will try to do a 90 degree cut. And the problem is that when you have a 90 degree cut, let's say if I would have did this one at 90 degrees also, if the floor is uneven or warped or the walls aren't perfectly at a 90 degree, then uh, when you try to do the a 90, I mean, uh, excuse me, a 45 against a 45, a 45 degree cut, that's what I meant to say initially. They try to do two 45s that equal this 90 degree angle right here. Sorry, I had to back that up. But um, the coping, what coping does is you cut one of them at a 45 degree angle. And then from there, I'll trim out this middle part right here. Once I trim out this middle part, it'll fit flush right against here. And then it will make it like, oh, so I did it down here. I'll show you the one down here. It'll make the corner meet perfectly. Like you can't beat that. So, as soon as I finish cutting this one out, I'll show you what it looks like. So that you can know what uh, the little uh, edge looks like. And you have to use a coping saw. The coping saw comes with a big hoop. So that once you're uh, cutting out your little coping edge, it can fit around. It can fit around that, uh, that piece of baseboard so that the saw doesn't get in the way while you're cutting it out. But I'll, I'll bring, I'll come right back as soon as I finish cutting out that edge. Now, right before you start trying to make this uh, coping cut, you want to do something called stress cuts. And basically, stress cuts is you'll hold your saw at a 45 degree angle against the current angle and make a stress cut going down like I did this one. And what happens is It'll go back about that far. But when I go to cut my coping cut, which will be at this type of angle, then that stress cut will just drop that piece of wood off. I don't know why I just acted crazy. Yeah, but my coping cut will start at this angle, and then my stress cut will just help it fall off. But I'll be right back as soon as I finish cutting it. I'm going to cut maybe like six stress cuts okay so i cut more than six just to show that you can cut as many as you want of the stress cuts and then right after this i'm going to go ahead and cut all of these off and you'll see now the edge that i want to follow is this edge right here As long as you follow this edge, when you make your coping cut, it'll fit in with no problem. That's the edge I want to follow. All right, I'll be right back. So once you're done with your cut, that's what it'll look like. Okay. And then all you got to do is take it and put it right there. Just like that. Now, if you have fitment issues from here, you just look at it. It looks like my bottom's touching first. So I'm going to trim back my bottom some. And watch, as soon as I do that, it's going to fit right in like a glove. And just like that, that's how it's going to look. You take a small bit of little uh, caulking, put it in there, paint that junk, game over. Keep on moving to the next one.